21-year-old Mickey Shunick and her golden black Schwinn seemingly vanishing into thin air. How can that be? Where is 21-year-old Mickey? And on our, our end, we tried it all. We tried at University of Louisiana. No leads. Her job, she taught riding horses at a horse farm. No luck. Uh, even at the pet store where she would get all of her pet supplies. Big animal lover. No good. Talked to all of her friends. Nothing. Tried to find surveillance video at surrounding businesses or homes. Nothing. How can a woman, a co-ed majoring in anthropology, and her Schwinn bike, black with gold accents, how can they just disappear into thin air? We are taking your calls. This is a sound alarm. Sound of alarm to all of our Cajun friends in Louisiana. Missing tonight, a 21-year-old anthropology major. Straight out to Ken Romero, co-host co of Mornings with Ken and Bernie, KPEL. Ken, what more are you hearing in Lafayette? I've been to Lafayette many, many times. It's beautiful country. What do you know? Well, as you said, it's a beautiful country with 100,000 in the city and 210,000 in the parish. So uh, quite a few people out, and if quite a few people are out searching at this time. Every morning at 1030, there have been search parties of hundreds of people out searching for her. And as you said, it's like she just disappeared into thin air at this time. You know, we keep saying that phrase, while well, we know that it's impossible. I'm hearing in my ear, and joining me right now, a special guest, We've just gotten with us Chief Jim Kraft with the Lafayette Police. Chief, thank you for being with us. You and your people have an excellent reputation. If you could, Chief, go through the timeline with us one more time. What happened that evening? Well, thank you. Uh, well, we know that uh, she was reported missing to the police department about 6 o'clock Saturday evening after numerous attempts by her friends and family to contact her, as you said earlier, she missed her brother's high school graduation. She was uh, immediately entered into uh, a database, a national database, as a missing person. Uh, we followed our protocol in missing persons by putting out bulletins to surrounding agencies and our own officers, and we began searching. And by Sunday morning, uh, we had an investigator out on a case because um, nine out of ten times, people who get reported missing usually usually turn up in, in this area and uh, so by Sunday morning we we had an investigator out and by Sunday at noon we had a full investigative team out and uh, uh, actually called out our, our entire investigative section and began um, doing grid searches uh, trying to coordinate with volunteers who, who had showed up to uh, search and to begin following up leads uh, by Monday, we had established a, uh, a tip line monitored uh, 24 hours by investigators, and we have since then received literally hundreds of leads, um, all to no avail. Each lead followed up by an investigator. The minute we received the, the call, we, we dispatched someone. Uh, we've conducted interviews. We've done searches. We've uh, done um, uh, searches of areas with different teams to, to make sure that we get a different set of eyes looking at the same area. And um, there is just, there just seems to be no trace of her. Everyone, we are taking your calls in the hopes that we may generate more tips and leads in the search for this 21-year-old co-ed 